GameMaker How To, make the view screen follow two players, which is basically a split screen. So two players each have their own little window to follow their character around inside of a game. If you haven't watched the video on view screen follow player, that's a little lead up to this video that goes over a few basics. So you'll see here in my room this time what I've done is I've added a player two, which is uh, the girl explorer here, and I got my original player and they're both controlled by the keyboard. This time what I want to do is though is I want to make a window for the girl player that shows up on the screen. So again we're going to go to the views tab of the room. We have the views enabled like in the previous video. I have view 0 set to 400 by 400 following object player and with the border set to half the value of the width and height so that basically it follows and keeps the player right in the center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to use a second view. View 1, visible when room starts. I'm going to make it the exact same size as the other player's view. And then when it asks me where to put it onto the screen, I can't do this. I'm going to do the same size, 400, 400, 400, 400. But I can't put it at 0, 0. Well, I could, but I'm not, because that's where I'm putting player 1's window. Now, where's a good place to put player 2's window? Well, I know that player 1's window is 400 wide. That means I should put player 2's window, basically, 400 over to the right, or even a little bit more. So on view 1, I'm going to put it onto the screen at an X value of 410. I can still have the height of 0, right? They can both be up at the top of the screen, but just the player 2 window should be 400 pixels to the right of player 1's. I'll set the borders to 200, 200, so it keeps player 2 dead in the center. And let's see what this happens right off the bat, and uh, what happens with the extra 10 pixels between these two windows. And there we go. Now I've given player two, there's player one. Oh, I think I did one mess up here. I didn't set the uh, window to follow the right player there. Let's go switch something here really quickly. I never said to follow player two. Now it's following player two. Here we go. So you can see I have player two, they have their own window. I have player one with theirs, and the magic everybody likes is, of course, you see each other when you pass within range, and you're playing your own game. Now, notice this was the 10 pixel gap, right? Because I had said draw this window 410 over, so it went all the way 400 and another 10 pixels over, and you have 410. Not too bad. Now, one thing you should note when you're using the views is if you want to draw anything like points and variables to this um, we now draw a slightly different way because the way you've probably been shown or seen in other videos was you choose a space up here to draw on the problem is that space then disappears as you walk away you need to draw based on this setup here the views game maker studio actually has a new event called draw GUI, draw the graphical user interface. I have a video specifically on that one. Um, it's its own little topic, but it is basically a topic based for when you're doing this. Okay, when you're moving around your room, where do you draw your statistics and your points and your scores and icons? So maybe we'll see in that video that one is uh, views using the GUI. Thanks for watching.